Hello and welcome. I'm Michelle Merchant Johnson with Love Life Coaching, and I'm the host of the upcoming Ready for the Right Guy event. And I am super excited to be featuring wonderful experts on a variety of topics to help you have the love and relationship that you desire. And one of our experts is the lovely Susan Ball from susanball.ca. And she is the founder of Healing Narcissistic Trauma. Welcome, Susan. Hey, Michelle. Thank you for having me. Oh, so happy to have you. And Susan and I had an incredible conversation today about tangled and twisted childhood love stories. And you'll hear the full interview when you join us for the Ready for the Right Guy event by clicking on the link below. But just to give you a little flavor of what's to come, um, Susan and I are going to have just a little brief conversation. So Susan, what is one thing that you commonly see that prevents women from having the relationship, the love that they most desire? Looking for someone to fill gaps and holes in their life. Mm, wow. That is a big one. Yep. Going and in some cases seeking a partner or a relationship because it's the, the way that they feel their life will have meaning or they will feel fulfilled or whatever they're lacking or they feel they're lacking because none of us lack, whatever they feel they're lacking and they're looking for someone to fill that gap. I know that because that's how I developed relationships. I wanted that, that gap filled for me. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't do, work, by the way. Yeah, it didn't. It doesn't work very well. Well, it tends to attract the unhealthy partners because we attract those kind of people that are also looking for someone else to fill in their gaps and their empty spaces and their holes. And so then we get two people that are kind of trying to make that all work. And it tends to be an unhealthy kind of synergy that happens in those relationships. Um, whereas if we are whole and we see ourselves as being a whole human being on our own, a whole fulfilled, happy, um, in, uh, being that wants someone to share those life experiences with, but not to fill in those gaps or empty, empty spaces that tends to pr uh, support a much healthier kind of relationship. Absolutely. And, yeah. and, uh, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So Susan, what is one thing that women can do right now to begin moving toward a more healthy relationship? What's just one tangible thing they can start to do right now? One tangible thing that they can do right now is accept that whatever they choose in life, whether it's being single, married, having children, not having children, that's okay. That is who they are. That's okay. You don't have to have someone in your life to be valuable, to be of value, to be of service, to be important in life. You don't need that. You, as an entity on your own, are authentically real, and you have the ability to make yourself happy all on your own. Now, I want women to realize when they're listening to this that when you are – desperately seeking someone else, the first thing that you will do is you will settle for the first person who comes along that you think is good enough to fill that empty gap. So what is moving you forward? Is it a fear of being alone? Is it a, um, a cultural or um, a family message that you've been given that you've got to have someone that you're not complete without your better half, your other person, blah, blah. What is it that's driving you forward to desperately seek this relationship? Mm -hmm. Yes. And in our main interview, we talk about this some more and talk about how making those decisions from a place of fear or lack does not tend to promote a healthy relationship. And this event that we're inviting you to is all about you being ready for the right guy. When we say the right guy, we're talking about the relationship that will bring you joy, a healthy, happy partnership relationship. And so understanding some of the pitfalls that can get in the way 
um, or can take you down another track is one of the keys to being ready for the right person in your life and for being ready for partnership um, and having a fulfilling life along the way. I think that's a really key point that sometimes we miss. Sometimes we're so focused on having that relationship that we forget, you know, to enjoy the journey, if we, if you will, and that this is our real life. And, and like what you said, whatever choice you choose for yourself can be a good choice and can be a right choice for you. If that's what you, what makes you happy. So Susan, I'm really excited about featuring your interview on the series. Um, I think we had a really great conversation that will be really helpful to a lot of people. And we want to invite everybody to join us for the full event. Um, it's free uh, to join us, but it's starting soon. So you do need to register by clicking on the link below and entering your name and email address. And we'll see you soon on the Ready for the Right Guy event. Thanks so much. Bye for now.